This is yin yang two. And you can see that I made a mistake in my equation over here because the computer is the graphing program is saying, sorry, I don't understand it this way. And it is actually giving me a hint. It says the way that you are using your equal signs. So what I accidentally did was I forgot to hold my shift key down and put a plus there. So I'm going, going to go in and correct that. I think I was in a hurry trying to get these done before my recording time ran out. But that's a nice feature of the graphing calculator. Now, I'm going to go back up to this first um, equation that I wrote, and I'm going to click this All button here. And that's going to open up what we call sliders. So you can see I have a circle over here on my graph. And the sliders are going to enable me to move this circle left and right, which is my x. And remember up here, x, it said x minus a. So when I come down here to where it says a equals 1, if I move my slider, my circle moves left to right, which is kind of cool. I can also come right here, and I can click, and I can key in a value if I know where I want my circle to be. So I want my circle to be centered. So I want it on the x value to be right at where x is equal to 0, which is at the origin. My b slider moves my circle up and down. So there it goes, moving left and right, left and right, or up and down, up and down. But again, I want it centered. So I'm going to have B equal to 0. And so now you can see that your circle is centered nicely over this origin in the middle. So the only thing now is to mess with my R. And that's my radius. The radius is the distance from the center of any circle to any point on the edge of the circle. And so I need to get my radius way up here. And you can see that this is 4. This would be 5. This is 6. So I'm going to want to move it up here somewhere. So it's less than 5, but greater than 4. So again, I can use my slider, and I can mess around trying to get it where I think it's good. And then again, I can always zoom in. And you can see that, of course, it gets kind of pixelated. In other words, you start seeing jagged um, marks along here. But I've got it pretty good up there, I think. There's a little bit of the yin-yang shading that's outside here. Um, but that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to click my default zoom. I'm going to come over here and click this little house and get it back to where it was. Now, what I have to do into this equation is get these values wherever these letters are. So it says R is equal to 4 and 8 tenths. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to come up here where it says R, not my squared. And I'm going to delete my R, and I'm going to paste in my value, I think. Maybe not. Maybe it's better just to write it. So I'm going to write 4 and 8 tenths there. Then I'm going to come down to my next slider. I had A at 0. So I'm going to delete my A and put 0 in. And then I'm going to delete my B and put 0 in. So now I have this equation in with these values down here. I'm going to close up my sliders, close that slider, close that slider, close that slider. And now I'm at my next equation, 